All right, ladies and gents, we're back. Thank you for waiting there for me. <laughs> the guy was just sitting there. All right, so pretty much if we make it all the way over here to the actual Metal Gear, then we should be fine. Sweet. All right, so the trick is to actually go ahead and get down here as soon as possible. Uh, there's two different outcomes that can happen. Um, if you're fast enough, you can get down there and just find it in the draining stitch. If you're not fast enough, you have to actually find a rat. So it really is dependent on you exactly what happens. But I think we've been pretty fast so far, so hopefully it'll just be in the drainage ditch. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out my shaft grenades. Right now, we're just kind of looking for it. Alright, so as you can see, it can be anywhere. So a rat ate it. Looks like we didn't make it in time, but we did pick up a bomb. Alright. Now we just gotta find this rat. No way of really knowing where the rat is gonna be. Kinda just goes along the wall. So I'll search this area one more time. Nothing. Alright, so we're looking for a rat. There he is. Let's see if we can get him with a good old... Got him. <laughs> Nothing like a good old sniper rifle. Alright, so now we need to head back up. That can take quite a while as you're going back and forth, but hopefully it won't take you too long. And I will definitely shorten this video up by um, skipping all the long kind of trek parts that you need to do, but I will show you exactly what you need to do in order to complete it. But right now we got to get the room temperature key. Don't forget there is still a guard here. Find out where he is, okay. Let's, let's switch to this, that way we can actually do this. Alright. 
Alright, so, we get back our chaff grenades, throw one in there. Alright, let's get out our PAL key. It's time to do this. Alright ladies and gentlemen, there you go, it is now blue, which means we can get the heck out of Dodge. Alright, and we made our way back up here, so we gotta repeat the process again, get out the POW key, throw a shaft grenade, and this time we go to the middle laptop. Alright, so as you now see, there are guards that you have to watch out for. But they're fairly easy to get by. I just wanted to show you that some things have changed when you go down through this area. And of course, Folk and Raven stuff is missing now. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well... Apparently, Fox Dye kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay. I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and it is time to do the final card here. You can see. Um, we're gonna see how much other stuff, we'll see if there's anything we need to get. We got 28 out of 32 and 35. I think that's probably enough, but really it just takes a matter of time, so we're gonna go ahead and move our way over here. There's no real reason to go over into this area, but there are a few things that we can kind of collect and pick up some more shaft grenades and whatnot. 
course, we always need that. Let's go over here and pick up some miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so we only really needed could get the shaft grenades. But here is this is the room where you actually just gotta kinda wait. That's right, all we're doing is waiting in this room. And just wait right here and your card will eventually turn, I guess, yellow or gold. Right now it's um, yellow, which is room temperature key, and we want it gold, so. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. It is now red, which means we are ready to go. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965 and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja, I mean Grey Fox, he's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. 
First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Buck's dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> ah! Snake! <gasps> Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Alright, here we go, ladies and gents. Enjoy the cutscene. Snake, now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Dye. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? 
The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. All right, so pretty much this part's really easy. I want to apologize. Um, I actually died because my dog got cut out of... Uh, or he... Shit. <laughs> I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. What I was saying was my dog got let out accidentally, so I had to go run down the road and chase him. And doing so got me killed because I missed this cutscene, so I do want to apologize for me being a complete douche, but it doesn't it looks like I'm gonna have a, a death on my actual walkthrough and I wanna apologize for that right now, so. Damn dogs. I actually had to go and chase him down the road, and because I was doing that, I was busy dying while I was chasing him down the road, so. Funny thing is, though, here you can actually see liquid there, but you can't shoot him, you can't do anything to him, he doesn't hurt anything, so it's kind of a little ridiculous, but um, we're going to just finish this last cutscene up, and then that's going to end the video, and then we will be fighting Metal Gear in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. 
It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Die, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming. Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah! Snake! Your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon! Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother! Now I'll show you! The power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century! It's moving. 